Hello friends, this video on understanding elementary shapes part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now that we have learned about the various types of triangles, we will try some questions. Question number one, name the types of following triangles. Triangle LMN with angle L. This M angle L means measure of angle L is equal to 30 degree. Measure of angle M is equal to 70 degree and measure of angle N is equal to 80 degrees. So let us try to uh, draw a rough sketch of this triangle. So angle L is 30 degrees. So first we draw angle L. Let's say this is 30 degree and this is angle L. Angle M is 70 degree. So let's say that this let's call this point as this is L M N. So now when we join this triangle, we see that this angle M is 70 degree and this angle N is 80 degree. Now these are not accurate measurements. We are just drawing a rough triangle. So what do we see? The measurement of all the three angles are less than 90 degree. That means what type of triangle is this? This is an acute angled triangle. Now, since there is no mention about the sides, so we will not be able to decide whether it is a scalene triangle or an isosceles triangle. So, we will not mention anything about that. Next one is angle XYZ, triangle XYZ with angle Y is equal to 90 degrees. So, let's draw a 90 degree. So, this is 90 degree and this is angle Y and XY is equal to YZ. So, if this is X and this is Z, so XY is equal to YZ. So, what type of triangle is this? So, here there is one angle 90 degree, but so this, this has to be a right angle triangle. At the same time, two sides are also equal. So, this is an isosceles triangle. So, this is right angled isosceles triangle. Question number two. Name each of the following triangles in two different ways. You may judge the nature of the angle by observation. Okay, so just by observation, we have to tell which triangle is of which type. So the first triangle we see all the measurement of the three sides are different. So that means this is a scalene triangle. But at the same time, regarding the angles, we see that there is one angle which is 90 degree. So that means this is a right angled scalene triangle. Let's look at the second one. Here we see that the length of these two sides are equal. Both are 7 centimeters. So that means it is an isosceles triangle. And we also see that the measure of this angle is greater than 90 degree because 90 degree would have been somewhat like this. So it is more than 90 degrees. So that is this is obtuse angle. So this is obtuse angled isosceles triangle. Question number three, which of the following are models for perpendicular lines? Now, what do we mean by perpendicular lines? That means when two lines intersect each other at 90 degrees, they are said to be perpendicular on each other. Let's say there is one line like this. There is another line like this. So both the lines are intersecting at this point and also the angle that they make at the point of intersection is 90 degrees. So we can say that these lines are perpendicular to each other. So the adjacent edges of a tabletop. So if you look at the tabletop, you would see that the, this, this side and this side, these are the adjacent edges, the adjacent sides. So are they perpendicular to each other? Yes, they are. Because when you look at a tabletop, the tabletop is like rectangular in shape. If we are talking about a general rectangular tabletop. So in that case, their adjacent sides are perpendicular to each other. The lines of a railway track. Well, when you talk about the lines, this is one line and this is another line. And these two lines, they do not seem to be inter, uh, intersecting each other. So these two lines are parallel to each other. So two parallel lines cannot be perpendicular to each other because they are not going to meet itself. And for two lines to be perpendicular, the first criteria is that the two lines should intersect and that too at 90 degrees. So therefore, the lines of a railway track are not models of perpendicular lines. Let's look at the next one. The line segments forming the letter L. So if you focus properly on the letter L of the English alphabet, you see that 
this line is perpendicular to this line because both the lines intersect at this point and that too at 90 degree. So yes, they are a model of perpendicular lines. The letter V. So if you look at letter V here also these two lines intersect at this point but the angle at which they intersect is an acute angle. So this is not a perpendicular line. Question number four. There are two set squares in your geometry box. What are the measures of the angles that are formed at their corners? Do they have any angle measure that is common? Now, if you look at the two set square, you would see that both the set square have 90 degree in common. So for this set square, this is 90 degree. This is 60 degree and this is 30 degree. So this is one piece of set square where the other two angles except the 90 degree they are unequal. One is 60 the other one is 30. Whereas the other in the other set square one angle is 90 and the other two angles are also equal. So they are 45 degree 45 degree each. So which angle is common amongst them? So 90 degree is common. So one set square has 90, 60, 30. The other set square has 90, 45, 45. So which is the common angle? 90 degree is the common angle between them. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.